Chris here again with Elna, our superstar kettlebell athlete. And she's going to give you some really good hints for how to start preparing for a kettlebell competition. What are the little tricks they use to make it easier, to give them a better advantage to get that high rep range? I'm going to hand it over to you to give, give us some ideas about how you set yourself up for, for, for a competition. Well, first, yeah. I make sure I have some magnesium. Okay, some chalk. chalk. Yeah. It will reduce the friction okay. of the kettlebell rubbing against you. Yes, hand. exactly. Yep. So it reduces the sweat. Fantastic. You so won't sweat yeah. if you use it. Okay, and that obviously will give you more grip as you're doing that longer time set. Exactly. Awesome. Okay, so chalk is very important. Yes, that's the most important for me. Okay. And the second, yep. I used weightlifting shoes. Okay, and what's so special about weightlifting shoes? They have a little heel yeah. that makes you get better balance. Okay, so more stability on the ground. Yes. Yep. And it supports you yep. when you push the kettlebell up. Okay. So you're going to get a little bit more power from yes. your legs if you're using a more solid platform rather than just runners or a yes. normal shoe. Okay. It's a big difference Yeah. if you use this. Okay, so there you go. So chalk is important, weightlifting shoe is very important as well. You're going to get a much bigger advantage. Okay, and what else are you uh, using to get yourself the best advantage? Water. Water? I um, just for hydration? <laughs> <laughs> this too. Uh, I wet it on my shirt. Okay. Just wet it down. Yeah. So that I will get uh, more or less friction. Okay, so you're looking to add grip for your elbows. Yes, exactly. Okay, so I imagine uh, after a long period of time when you're lifting, it can get quite slippery. Okay, and that water helps your elbows stick to yes, your t-shirt. Yes, from the beginning. Yeah. Because at the end you will get sweat. Okay, yeah. So then you will, it will help you anyway. Yeah, yeah. But at the very start you want yes. to be able to get your elbows in the right position so you can relax in the exactly. rack position. Yes. Very good, very good. And uh, next, sweatbands. Sweatbands, okay. It's not necessary, mm -hmm. but... What are they good for? Uh, if the... If you are very sensitive yeah. and have very fine bones, yes, yeah. then it's good. It protects the back yes. of the wrist. Nice, nice. And does that stop a bit of the sweat coming down into your hand as well? Yeah. Or? Yeah. It can do. It can do it too. Very so. good. Nice. Okay. And um, I've also seen people, and I know that you don't use one, but weight belts can be useful. Yes. Or yes, it can uh, be a very good support. Yeah. If you are very and weak in yep. your back. Okay, because you spend a lot of time yes. sitting in an extended back position. Yes, exactly. Yep. And uh, to help you, if yep. you if you can't reach yep. your you can't get hip your bone, to your hip. Yep. So then you can use it. Fantastic. It okay, so a weight belt can be helpful not only for racking but for supporting your lower back at the same time. Exactly. Right, so that's pretty good. That's pretty extensive. Your normal everyday person probably doesn't need to go to this extreme just to start training with kettlebells, they just can get away with using a kettlebell, maybe a bit of chalk, yes. and, and that's a good start. But if you're looking to improve, yeah, maybe train for a bit longer, then... To, comp to, to, to compete? Yes, then these are some very good hit hints. There you have it. So chalk, very important. Weightlifting shoes to give you that stability and give you that power. And that's a really cool tip I haven't tried before. Getting some water in your t-shirt to add grip to your elbows. I think I'm gonna be trying that one. Thank you very much, Elna. And guys, you can check out more at kettlebells.nu.